Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Kamina here and it's another video from The Division and it's that time of week again with the Ventures have reset. So I'll be bringing you all my recommendations around the world of The Division on what you can pick up this week. So be sure to watch the rest of the video to find out what's here. Okay, in the base of operations, in the weapon vendor this week, there's not a bad uh, loud vent break here, which comes with 17% critical hit damage, 2.5% stability, and 3% critical hit chance. Now, if you have seen the updates that have been uh, coming out for 1.6 and last stand, so there's going to be a new uh, gear set called Seeker, which is all about critical hit chance and damage. So if that is something that you wanna to build towards now and getting that critical hit chance and damage up, then I think about looking at this mod here just to help you on your build going forward. The DAG zone gear vent in the base of operations this week, there is a prototype stamina mod here with 256 uh, stamina and it does come with 1723 health. So if you are looking for a prototype stamina mod, which does have health on it, then it's one here that you can pick up this week. In the advanced weaponry vendor in the base of operations, there is a few weapons in here this week. Uh, that are not great, but uh, still not bad either as well. You've got the Tactical Sausage here, which does come with Destructive, Vicious and Ferocious on it. You've got the SOCOM M1A. Now, this used to be probably one of the best uh, sniper rifles in the game. Um, it's a little bit low on the headshot damage at 149%, but it does come with Destructive, Fierce and Brutal on it as its talents. Also as well, there is an Amiga rifle suppressor here, 18.5% uh, headshot damage, 3% critical hit chance and 4% critical hit damage as well on there. In the special equipment vendor this week in the terminal, there is nothing really here worth uh, noting. However, I did want to bring up the Historian, the Valkyrie and the Liberator. Now, the reason I did want to bring up these weapons is in 1.6 and last stand, named uh, weapons are going to have a massive increase in terms of what their abilities are going to be with their own unique talents especially the Valkyrie being picked up in two. So my recommendation in preparation for 1.6 and Last Stand, if you do have those Phoenix credits, is start to collect the named weapons, uh, looking here, the Astorian Valkyrie, Liberator, Hungry Hog, etc., because these weapons are going to have um, some great talents and are probably going to be the new uh, go-to weapons in the game. So it might be worth just getting them collected, keep it step ahead and keep them in your stash ready for 1.6 and last stand over in the special blueprints vent in the terminal this week i just wanted to bring up the sausage 12 uh, blueprint that is in here now i've seen a lot of people running around with a striker build with using the sausage because i know it complements uh, that build great so if you are running with a striker build and looking for a gun to help you in terms of uh, that build then i definitely recommend uh, Pick up the sausage blueprint here, and especially you can roll as many weapons as you like there for those great talents that come on them. Some soap uh, safe house this week. There is a prototype electronics mod here at 261, so high on the electronics, and it does come with 1719 health. So if you are looking for electronics prototype mods with health on it, then it is one year you can collect. No problem. The uh, church safe house in a dc6 this week there is a predator's mac vest in here now it's rolled at 1125 on stamina and ideally you'd probably want that to be up at least 1200 minimum it does come with 10.5 percent exotic damage resilience which you can look to roll away there for armor it does have 5944 health and it does come with 56 percent ammo capacity so if you are looking to make a Predator's build, or you do have one, then I definitely recommend uh, checking this chest piece out here and just comparing it to what you currently have. Over in West 46th Street, which is your DZ5 vendor this week, there is a lightweight M4 here. It's got 21% enemy armor damage, uh, 17k base damage. It does come with commanding, prepared and deadly. Now, not the best uh, lightweight M4 out there, and certainly not the best one that we've had in these vendors. But if you haven't managed to pick one up, then there is one here that you may just want to take a look at. Also as well, there is a prototype performance mod here, which does give you 5.5% uh, first aid allies uh, self-heal. 
sorry so this is a, a great prototype performance mod there just to get the uh overheal or the heal up to yourself uh so yeah that's here this week if you want to collect them in west 42nd street which is your dz3 bender this week there is a sky l uh, assault rifle 22 percent enemy armor damage so it's almost at that cap in terms of enemy armor damage 19.5k base damage based off 5000 firearms it does come with commanding, responsive and sustained. So not the best in terms of the talents there. Um, obviously you'd want to probably roll away commanded here just due to the high electronic requirements. But yeah, it has got responsive and then sustained on it. So if you're looking for an assault rifle, it's not the best ones out there, but not too bad either. Also as well, there is a prototype firearms mod, which does come with 256 firearms and 1% critical hit chance. TF Street this week, which is your DC3 vendor. There's a prototype stamina mod here, which does come with uh, 262 stamina and 1% critical hit chance. Now, I usually wouldn't mention these because at the moment you'd be looking at something in terms of armor on it. However, going forward in 1.6 and last stand, especially if you're going to be looking to want to make that new uh, gear set that's coming out, Seeker, which is all about critical hit damage, there is this here that you could probably look to pick up and just keep away in your stash uh, ready for when the next update drops. Over in the DZ3 safe house, which is your Dark Zone weapon vendor, the only weapon really worth noting here is the G36C, and mainly just for your skill builds out there. Now, it does come with a low enemy armor damage at 18%, with the highest being 23. It does have a base damage at 17.4k, but that's based on my firearms, and that would look to change, obviously, if you're more focused on the skill power. But it does come here with competent, fierce, and focused. Now, focused is uh, when no skills are on cooldown, your weapon damage is increased by 10% and uh, weapon damage here in competent obviously is increased by 10% for 15 seconds after using a skill there is also fierce on here so I would probably look to roll away focus there in terms of this gun and maybe add something that's free like intense or along those lines over in East 31st Street, which is your DZ-1 vendor this week, we do have a SOCOM M1A here. It does come with 161% headshot damage. It does come with prepared, so damage is increased by 15% when more than 30 metres away from a target. It has got commanding and then brutal on there as your free talent. So I just recommend rolling away commanding there. And you wouldn't have a bad sniper rifle here. Uh, this week now it's not been the best week at all it compared to the last couple of weeks I'd probably say it has been the worst however there are some items out there if you think ahead for 1.6 and last stand like I said in the start of the video I definitely recommend getting those Phoenix credits just picking up those names weapons and keeping them in your stash ready for the next update now if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you didn't then give it a thumbs down and I'll see you soon agents take care